civil and military hacking tools, platforms, and methodologies. All hacking scenarios are inspired by true events. Stinger OS now active. Welcome, Agent. Let me ask you a question, Agent. How do you feel about a little game of cat and mouse? Because it looks like we may have found our match. Take a look at this. Reports are coming in of a massive cyber attack that targeted thousands of computers and cell phones across the globe. Hundreds of files have been corrupted or stolen from their owner. The cause of this attack is still unknown as no potential hacking group have claimed responsibility for this chaos. Cybersecurity experts are currently working on the case. Now, we have identified a subliminal image in their news report, and forensics suspected that Newsstream Live might be involved in this story more than they intended to. We believe their news report have been compromised. Be ready, Agent. We need to act fast on this one. Com check. This is Hunter 227. Agent Dillon, activation code 114. I'll be your wingman during this mission. Okay, I'll take the lead researching open source intelligence on... Uh that news reporter Laura Walker, while you'll be in charge of online reconnaissance for new streamlined infrastructure. If you need me at any time, just activate the comm channel at the bottom of your screen. Let's roll. Your first step should be to scan for existing servers from new Streamlive. I'm pretty sure a company like that has a good online footprint that we can investigate for any weaknesses. The module you'll want for this job is the DNS and V host mapping in your Stinger OS hacking tools. Information gathering module initiated. The DNS and vhost mapping will search for any website and subdomain related to Newsstream Live. You have a couple of options here. You can use a dictionary attack to look for the most common subdomain name, like www for their web server or mail for their email communication. Alternatively, you can leverage OSINT database, like Google or Bing. These puppies are pretty aggressive when it comes to indexing the web, and you'll be surprised to see what you can find on their public database. With a couple of requests, you can quickly locate server signatures that should have been kept private. If you want to know more on how to use your various Stinger OS module, please take the time to read the instructions in your terminal. They're always a good place to start. Let me look at the DNS mapping analysis you just did. Okay. See the extranet subdomain? extranet.newstreamlive.ca? This is usually set up to exchange company information with outside suppliers. It can also be used to provide employees with resources when they're outside the company. Because they act as a bridge between the internal and the external network, if unprotected, they can be easy prey for us. Run a diagnostic on their extranet and see if any vulnerabilities come up. To help you with this, take a look at your host fingerprint module. Information gathering module initiated.
Their extranet technologies do indeed have a known vulnerability we can exploit. It's time to move on the target. I'm uploading after midnight to your console. This is a small footprint kernel space persistent root kit that will provide backdoor access to their network. While I'm doing that, I suggest you read a little more about the new stream extranet vulnerability. Your Stinger OS comes with a complete exploit database. This registry will teach you about the nature of the exploit and how to use it. Go to the exploit database and use the information you found during the host fingerprint phase to get more intel on the nature of their vulnerability. Module initiated. That's the vulnerability we're looking for. Okay, so, one thing you must know. Most of our intrusion attacks are not done by manual command line anymore. We use scripted modules to automate the exploit process and variations of it. As an active agent, you have access to your own dedicated Foxacid server where all our scripts are stored. I'll explain what it does and how it will assist you in hacking your way in. After Midnight Rootkit is now uploaded. When successfully deployed, it will register a VPN connection, giving you the ability to connect to the new Streamlive network as if you were in their office. Let's power up your Fox Acid virtual server. Let me give you a quick overview of the Fox Acid server. To launch an attack, you will need to set up three important variables. The first one is the delivery mechanism, or how we want our script to execute the attack. The second one is the known CVE exploit you want to use. Foxacid comes with tons of automated exploit scripts, but only a few of these virtual weapons have been authorized to be used at your clearance level. I've seen some nasty zero-day exploit scripts out there, and believe me, you don't want them to end up in the wrong hands. Finally, there's the root kit you want to install on the target server. The rootkit will give you various levels of access to the target computer or network. They have different benefits and drawbacks, but right now I've only uploaded after midnight. This is what we need to gain you network level access. Go ahead, select your attack strategy based on what you learned during your exploit investigation. If you're not sure, go back to your exploit database and look for the technology vulnerability.